Welcome back. It's time to get crafty today. Our craft expert, Jennifer Ackerman Haywood from the Grand Rapids Press and CraftSanity.com is here to show us a new use for old books. You're always using stuff, repurposing everything for us. Yeah, well, I'm not going to take credit for this one. This was not my original idea. In fact, uh, the woman you're featuring on um, on Sunday's yes, column is... Yes, one of the women that is um, organizing the 16th uh, Fiber Arts Exhibition over at the um, it's at Kendall College of Art and Design. Uh -huh. And it's wonderful. There's a lot of fiber art there. And this is uh, Anne Bont and Margaret Jagger. Uh -huh. Margaret's wearing the red there. And um, we're going to be making a Jagger loom today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is unbelievable. And wait till you see what she's done. Yeah on this loom, but you now, just take an old book. Take an old book. This is Margaret's loom. I call it the Jagger <laughs> because I'm like, this one needs a name, but as you can see, it's just a piece of, just a, a grid of uh, graph, graph paper. paper. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> With some, just some little nails here. And yes. these are brads. And so if you think, well, that doesn't look like much. Well, look no. at this. Look at what she, she made, made on this. She made this gorgeous shawl out of, out of that loom. And I'll just kind of model it here. Would um, you please? It's just fantastic. And when you think about how she did this using... I mean, it had to take her two yeah, years. It, yeah, it, it took a while to do. <laughs> but what we're going to do gorgeous. is you don't need, and as I'm getting my microphone Oops, stuck, stuck here. <laughs> Keep talking while I work okay, on you. Okay, here we go. Good. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> Don't you love live TV? Yes. <laughs> so I have an old copy of a book about Ecuador. If you wrote yes. a report based on this book, um, you would probably not get a very high grade <laughs> because it's very it's dated. A outdated, yeah, yeah. Just make sure you're not, obviously you don't want to do this with a library book that's still in circulation, you know, yes. obviously don't want people getting upset. Um, I'm going to have a template online for a couple sizes of looms that you can make. You can okay. download that from craftsanity.com later today. And what I'm doing here, just using packaging tape to tape this in place. Yep. Okay, and obviously you would tape this completely down. I'll add more tape later. Yes. I use a little tack hammer, and these are three quarter inch brads. Okay, and everywhere I have a dot on you here, put a brad. you just want to put a brad. Okay, very simple. You want to, if you want to use a pliers to hold that in place as yes. you're, you know, and I'm not going to make this loud, obnoxious sound, <laughs> <laughs> sound here. But then um, here, what I did to maximize my space, I had a bigger book. I put two sizes. Yeah. You can connect these to make little coasters. Um, this is actually inspired by, since about the 1940s, they have had these looms. This one's called the Weavat. This is a modern uh, kind of, uh, I think, some, in about 1998, these were produced. But mm -hmm. since about the 1940s, they've had these looms. It's a continuous weave structure so you it's one strand that you wind oh, on you back and going. forth and then your nice. last step the fourth time you go across here you're actually weaving under over under over but then when you pull it off you're done there's wow. no ends to weave in there's well you have to weave in the start and end but there's no loops together or anything like that and you can make i mean as you can see here gosh a beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous mm -hmm. and it, what the point i want to get across to people is that you don't need an expensive equipment Yes. You know, and this doesn't look like, I mean, these don't look like much. And they don't, look higgledy-piggledy on they there. They do. And, and, you know, don't get upset if your nails aren't perfect and not exactly the same size, you know, same depth going yes. down. Because it's just, it's a great project to do with the kids where mom or dad might have to do the, the pounding. Yeah. But to show kids how they can recycle an old book, look really get resourceful. These are the cute coasters that Jennifer made on this one. Yeah, beautiful. so it's, Oops, I'll there's, turn there's a, a lot yeah. of things that you can you can make using this continuous weave structure, and it's just really a fun project. And I will have, like I said, the um, instructions. And since this is an old technique, the um, weave patterns are available online. Nice. So there's a lot of things you can do for free. And this fiber show is, is going to be about looming and so much more. Yeah, it's weaving. Um, there's knitting. Actually, best of show was a knitted piece, which is really excellent to see that. Um, so it's going to be um, at the Kendall College of Art and Design, and that's. Um, through the 14th so and on September 11th they're going to have a 3 p.m. lecture so check that out and mm -hmm. it's just really inspiring to see what is possible so you can actually I mean this could be in the show Margaret it sure can she it's... didn't enter that but I think as far as I'm concerned I mean it's quite impressive it's you know? beautiful all right you can find more information on our website wzzm13.com just click on take five links thanks Jennifer thank you well from bank robbers to 3d blue people you can see it all at the movies this weekend still ahead Ron brings us up to speed on the new releases stay with us please Thank you.